Hello, welcome to Teaching English in Primary Education, or TP. I'm going to give you a very brief introduction so that you have an idea of what to expect this year. So, I hope you'll have an idea about what the rules are regarding English in the Netherlands, teaching English in primary education so that you could at least explain to somebody else how good or bad your own particular English lessons were. Um, I hope to give you an idea of what to expect from the lessons here at the Pabo and to let you know where to find the most important information that you'll need this year. So my name is Louise Taylor. I coordinate English at the Javier Pabo and at the University Pabo and you can see my email address on screen if you have any questions. So why do we teach English? Why is it, for example, not Spanish, Chinese or Turkish? And why even bother with primary or language learning in primary school if, they're, if the pupils are going to learn again when they get to secondary school? Well, of course, it's because English itself is an international language. It's the language of business, it's the language of internet, of television, of music. And the Dutch are traditionally a trading nation. They need to look outside their own country. Um, and English is that language. So why primary? Not because, as many of you will have heard, younger children are apparently better at learning languages. That actually is not necessarily the case. Not that they are better at learning languages. But mainly it's because they tend to be less afraid of learning languages, of making mistakes. They'll just give it a go. Um, and because then they actually have longer to learn, so are more likely to achieve a higher level. Politically, of course, it's simply the law. In the whole of the European Union, children are expected to learn at least two foreign languages. So English has been compulsory since 1986. The current Kerndula or basic aims, if you like, have been in place since 2006. They're in the process of being renewed at the moment, so there will be some new ones fairly soon, and they're being set up in order to better reflect modern society. So very briefly, how do we teach English in primary education? We don't use grammar. We don't teach the children the rules of grammar. There's no need for that. They learn by expression. So if you use the expression, um, thank you very much, they learn that as a chunk. They don't need to learn that it's all comprised of various different words with a grammatical thought and a certain word order behind it. We don't encourage the children to learn using vocab lists. Rather than that, we teach them vocabulary through the context, through using the language, through images, etc, etc. So not with vocab lists. Uh, as far as writing is concerned, we limit writing in primary education because English is not very uh, logical in the way that we write it in the spelling. So we encourage children to learn to listen and to learn to speak. That has the focus in primary school. So thinking in terms of images, what it says here is images work better. When teaching children in primary school, we try not to translate words all the time, or not too often, only when really necessary, because children with a different language background, such as Polish or Turkish, for example, may not understand the translation. So if you translate the word cat into, that's a silly example, but cat into Dutch, the Polish word for it may be very different and they may not understand what you mean. Or children with a weak language, so not so strong in Dutch, may not understand you. So it's advisable to try to use images where possible, physical body language and sounds and so on, so that you don't have to translate so often and so that children of all language backgrounds can actually understand you. So what you'll see when you dive into the book and read the book is that there isn't actually a set curriculum for English. A lot of schools buy um, course books, what in Dutch you call a methode, they buy a course book, but English focuses in primary school on themes. So almost like OHO education, so themes that are close to the children, such as the family, pets, holidays, the home, etc. So that also will be the focus of the lessons. There will be lots of focus around themes and how to play games or sing songs or do actions, etc. within certain themes. The focus is therefore not on building up a curriculum according to grammar or according necessarily to vocabulary, but according to these contexts that the children, that are relevant to the children. 
So these aspects of teaching are what you're going to be learning in class this year about how to teach. You'll be given lots of practical examples. Um, you'll be told how to put it into practice depending on whether you're teaching group one or group eight. Yes, it's possible in all classes. So in order to um, be able to know how to teach, you can read the book yourself. That's where you'll find the theory. But the classes will actually be there to show you how to put it into practice. So as far as the assessments are concerned, you'll find the information about how you'll be tested in the module guide. So I really recommend you read that first before going to your first class, because then if you have any questions, you have enough time in class to check with your teacher. So what do you need? Um, the book, there is one book that you need, and that book is the book that will serve you right the way through the Pabo. We're not going to ask you to buy 20 books every year. It's this. And this is the one book that you're going to read. It's actually a very logical book with loads of examples, and it will give you some ideas of also of how to teach quite simply. It's not purely theoretical. So in preparation for your next class, um, read at least these two chapters. I certainly, these two parts of chapters, 8.3 and 7.2. I can't recommend highly enough that you already read chapter one because that places English in a context and you'll understand why we teach the way we do at the moment. But you must have in any case read these two things before attending your first class. So I'm not going to be teaching you this year, but I am here in the background. If you have any questions or if you see my name, then at least you know who I am. You will be taught by another of my colleagues at the Pabo, um, Brit, who also teaches at a primary school, so is speaking from experience and can no doubt give you an awful lot of practical examples. So have a lot of fun with her. <laughs>